What is going on guys? Gray for today. I'd like to talk about the new group finder tool coming with update 40. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. We did get the update 40 preview. And there's a lot of things talked about that are going to be coming to the game in update 40. And a lot of this is good quality of life changes. And one of these changes was the new grouping tool. It says if you enjoy teaming up with fellow adventurers, the new group finder allows you to create parties of almost any group activity in ESO. This includes dungeons, arenas, and the upcoming endless archive, trials, PvP, and more. And yes, we're finally going to be able to get that new group finding tool in trials. And I know a lot of people have been wanting trials to be able to be something that you can use in a group finder for a long time. The new endless archive a lot of people are interested in. So this new group finding tool seems like it's going to be very helpful. It says, if you choose to make a listing to find players to fill out your existing group, even when starting from solos, if you're by yourself, you can start a group and kind of have parameters set to what you want to find to kind of play with. Or you can search for a group that already exists and wants to do the same content that you do. The new tool also allows you to tune the criteria of the group members and kind of what they must meet. And it says things like, uh, player CP level, whether they use in-game voice chat, their play style, and a desired group role composition. So this is going to give you the option to really base your group on, you know, if you're a hardcore player, if you're someone that likes to just kind of hang out and have fun, talk to people. Maybe if you're wanting to do some harder content and you're wanting some really good players at higher CP, there's a lot of different ways that you can set the kind of criteria up, the parameters up for this new group finding tool. And then it, said, it kind of goes on to say with the new group finder, teaming up with your fellow adventurers should be easier than ever. I think a lot of people saw this and they're really excited about it. And I, I agree. This is something that is really great because the group finder in the game has needed an update for a really long time. We all know the issues with the group finder and we definitely all know all the issues with the queue sometimes in the group finder. That's going to be my biggest concern with this, I think. And hopefully... This won't be a concern, but my only issue, the only thing I thought of when I, when I saw this was now, if you're splitting up, you know, these different groups, let's say between a, a dungeon arenas, trials, endless archives, PVP zone stuff, you know, you can even make a custom group and then you split that up even more into things like uh, splitting it into player CP levels, in-game voice chat, play style, uh, group composition. Will this kind of thin out that pool even more to where it's going to take longer for the game to search for players, considering everyone may have different parameters set? So right now, you're going in, you're queuing as a tank, healer, or DPS, and it's taking a long time, especially as a DPS, we all know. But then you're going to add kind of another layer on top of that by being able to filter certain things out, things that, you know, parameters you want to meet uh, for this certain group. And hopefully that's not really going to slow down the process, but I'm afraid it may force some things. Because if a lot of people are using it for, let's say, dungeons and trials, and some people are wanting to use it for PvP and Endless Archive, is it, going to, is it going to fill a certain player pool up more than the other? We'll kind of have to wait and see. But I think overall, this sounds like it's going to be an absolute big, big upgrade compared to what we had over the last several years with the Activity Finder. I'm just hoping it's not going to slow down the queue times even more. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.